Today, we are exploring the Lily Ghost M7600GH, a groundbreaking development board that combines the power of ESP32 with the versatility of a 4G LTE K4 GPS module. This is also backward compatible with 3G and 2G networks and it can be used throughout the world. The supported regions are Asia, Asia Pacific, Europe, America, Africa and Australia. In this journey, we will discover how this board is not just a piece of technology but a gateway to infinite possibilities. The download and upload speeds of the SIM 7600GH model is 10 times faster than SIM 7600E series, making it an ideal choice for applications requiring high-speed data transmission. The SIM 7600GH LTE download link in BPS is optimized from 10DL to 150DL and the upload link is optimized from 5UL to 50UL. The board integrates an 18650 battery holder with plus and minus markings, aiding a layer of convenience and mobility. This is for the TF card or the micro SD card. Over here you can see connections details, the SD card, CS, CLK, MOSI and MISO are connected to the ESP32 GPIOs 13, 14, 15 and 2 respectively. This is a port for the solar charging interface. The ordinary charging IC has been replaced with a solar charging IC. Next to it is the power switch. This is a slot for the nano SIM card. It includes two Type-C interfaces, one for uploading programs to the main control chip and the other serving as a USB dongle interface for the SIM 7600G industrial network card. This versatility allows the board to be easily connected to a computer and configured as a wireless network card. This is for the GPS antenna. In an era where energy efficiency is paramount, the SIM 7600G it stands out with its GPS power control feature. This functionality significantly reduces power consumption, reaching as low as 300 microamps in sleep mode. This is for the full band LTE antenna. This is the reset button and this is the SIM module power button. The applications of the SIM 7600G are as diverse as the imagination of its users. From smart home systems to advanced IoT projects, from remote monitoring to real-time data transmission, the possibilities are limitless. Its fast data transmission capability coupled with GPS functionality and solar charging makes it an ideal choice for outdoor applications, environmental monitoring, and mobile solutions where power availability is a challenge. These are some of the specifications and you can also see a comparison between the SIM 7600GH and SIM 7600EH. Both the modules are exactly the same except the form factor and region. And this is the pin diagram. You can see all the pins are clearly labeled. And since this model is based on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, so I'm sure many of you might already be familiar with its pin configuration. And if not, then you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Anyway, these are the pins to which the SIM 7600GH module is connected. So make sure you don't connect any kind of a sensor or output device to any of these pins. If you want to use an Arduino, ESP8266 or any other controller board instead of the ESP32, then I recommend you purchase this dedicated SIM 7600G module. I've already created a getting started video on it. I have used this model to control some loads and whenever I would turn a load on or off, I would receive a feedback message. Along with this, I also monitored a temperature sensor. Today, I will run the same program on this model because they are exactly the same, only their connections are different. I will add a link in the description if in case you want to check out the SIM 7600G LTE module. I believe I have covered pretty much everything and now it's time to solder the mail headers so that I can connect the input and output devices. You can see the mail headers have been soldered. Now let's connect the GPS antenna and the full band LTE antenna. Mm -hmm. 
everything looks good and now let's power up this beast and see what it's truly capable of. This time I have connected LEDs and a potentiometer instead of relays and a temperature sensor. We will control these LEDs and monitor this potentiometer. For the connections you can follow this circuit diagram. This is the same exact program that I have used with the SIM7600G and it also works with the SIM7600GH. You can see I'm using the same libraries. The only difference is that this time I'm using different pins and this is because on the SIM7600G the connections are already defined. If you are using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module for the first time then you will also need to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. For this you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. To upload the program make sure you select the ESP32 DEF module and don't forget to select the correct communication port your ESP32 SIM7600GH module is connected to and then finally click on the upload button. You can see the program has been successfully uploaded. Now let's go ahead and watch this in action. To turn the LEDs on we will use these commands. To turn the LEDs off we will use these commands and to request the value of the potentiometer we will use this command. I am currently using a 4G SIM and as you can clearly see it is connected to the network. An amazing feature of this module is that it is also compatible with 3G and 2G networks. While the SIM 900A and SIM 800 LGSM GPRS modules only support 2G SIMs and 2G networks. This makes the 2G supported GSM GPRS modules almost obsolete now. Anyway, let's start the practical demonstration. So as you saw whenever I turn the LEDs on or off I also receive feedback messages. I explained this same feedback functionality in my previous video. Let's now request the value of the potentiometer. Let me rotate the knob of the potentiometer and let's see if it's going to send me a different value. This is working exceptionally well. In the upcoming tutorial I will make a GPS tracking system so consider subscribing if you don't want to miss that video. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.